How many of you have seen me talk before? Yeah, you see, I didn't need to tell them. So um, you need to, you need to uh, cross-check my lies from previous occasions. So um, this is meant to be uh, relatively quick, but you've heard me say before that our ambition is to make a big difference on carbon. Um, and we have decided, I think, officially, since probably since I last spoke here, that we're what's called a social enterprise. In other words, that we're not um, doing what we're doing in order to gather yachts for the directors, but in order to make a difference to carbon. Uh, even yachts made of carbon wouldn't count. Um, and the way that we're doing that is by trying to make people's heating uh, efficient. We reckon that something up to 20% of the UK's entire carbon footprint is from domestic space heating, i.e. your radiators or what have you, and half of that is wasted. Okay? Um, so I think this is what we call low-hanging fruit. In principle, we can save um, UK energy consumers 6 billion quid a year and not 10% of our carbon footprint had a slightly interesting thing of standing up and saying this in front of the CEO of Centrica in their HQ, saying that we were trying to rob them of six billion of revenue a year. Um, but he didn't kick us out, and we even got lunch. Um, so we've made it to the first manufactured thing with injection plastic molding. We've got mechanics in there, the device in there. Sorry about the noises off. We've got a little production run going here, because I have to do the first couple of installs in social housing tomorrow and um, the stuff is pretty well hot off the press so sorry about the noises but honestly it's for a good cause so this is it it's amazing it's taken about three years from starting open source project to get here and this doesn't meet our eventual target by a long way of being a, effectively something that we could sell for a tenner retail it's a long way off there at the moment but nonetheless it's all there and it works uh, or at least we're going to be testing that um, with the NPL's help over the next few months. So what we were here today was to do an interoperability um, thing because we have an ambition, if we're going to make a difference of, say, 10% of UK's carbon emissions or 8% of the EU, we're, the, we're not going to get this by being some kind of boutique thing where we make five of them and say they're very nice and then retire. Um, we have an ambition to be on 400 million domestic European radiators. Okay, we reckon it's about 500 million. There are 200 million. Uh, there are, you know, there's 100 million of those which we're never going to have a good reason to get on because they're, you know, you just put a simple valve on and that's it. Um, but there are 400 million, something like 80% of them that we have a target to be on. And um, if we are going to get there, we're neither going to get there by being boutique nor by working in splendid isolation. So part of our not being splendidly isolated is open source, but it's also going to be interoperability because a big goal is that lots and lots of people can interact with our stuff. So for example, supposing you already had an open energy monitor, one of their lovely consoles, you wouldn't need to have one of our consoles. The first time you fit a valve, you get the benefit of the entire OEM ecosystem. So the reason for having today is to try and make some first steps in that direction. OEM is doing something which we thoroughly approve of, which is helping reduce carbon footprint. And, you know, we've been tracking him for a while, and we would like to interoperate. And so today's workshop earlier was all about that. Plus, we were talking about things like um, Ken's hardware and so on. So can we give him a mic, and then we can do... That was enough from me.